Green, go. All right, guys, welcome back to our mobility series. And today in classes, we have lunging in our CrossFit program. And one of the big issues that we find with our lunge is that people oftentimes, if you sit down all day, right, if, if I'm sitting down all day, these hip flexors get nice and short, and we end up kind of getting short here, lengthening out through the back, our glutes get tight, and we end up, when we go to lunge, we're not able to actually effectively let this back leg kind of trail behind us into a good position here. What ends up happening is we get stuck, and we end up driving forward, front heel picks up, knee goes over the toes, and now we have some knee pain associated with our lunging movement, that's really hard to unwire. So we want to do some preventative mobility today. Uh, and you can do this before class. It'll take you four minutes. And what we want to do, guys, again, this is sticking with limited equipment. Come on over here to the pull-up rig. What we want to do, guys, is we, we're not able to just, right, we, we can't just stretch. Like, stretching will lengthen that tissue out, but it doesn't attack that specific area where the muscle gets shortened. And the best analogy I've ever heard is if you imagine a rubber band where it's fat on the ends and skinny in the middle, if you just stretch, what you're doing is you're pulling on those fat ends. Well, the fat ends are not gonna get skinnier. The skinny side is just gonna get lengthened out. And so you're not able to actually address the root of the problem. So what we wanna do is we have to bias our position. We have to find a way to only attack that spot that we're trying to open up here in the very powerful hip flexor. So what we have, you can do this on a wall at home and just use a towel, but I have here a post and an ab mat for my knee. So come on around the side here, Taylor. What we're gonna do, guys, the key here is we need to be able to not only go into hip uh, neutral position, but we need to be able to find some extension of our hip, okay? So really open up that hip. And so what we wanna do is we're gonna block that position by driving our knee back behind the post here, okay? So I have my ab mat here, and you'll notice my knee is behind where this post is, all right? Now, like all good movements should, even though I'm in a, an extended position here, it's not good enough yet because I would never want you to lunge like this. I'm, a, I'm broken in my organized spine position, right? So what I need to do is I need to go ahead and use this post, and I'm gonna just pull my spine to it. Now this is good, but one step further is I can go up and behind here and grab this post, and now I can actually pull my rib cage flush to that post, all right? So I'm in a good lunge position, I'm actively squeezing my butt and pulling my ribs down, and it's attacking right here. I can already feel it. Guess what, it takes two minutes to make the change happen. So you're gonna go two minutes per side here, guys, squeezing the butt, pulling the ribs down, reaching those hands up the entire time, okay? When you're done there, you can just simply switch sides and attack, all right? If you sit down, if you have back pain, if you are bad at lunging, Give this a shot, two minutes aside, hip extension. Get some in your life.